Hi guys, it's Shanae. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film another Christmas holiday makeup tutorial. I'm hoping I can get this up in time for Christmas. If not, it's still going to be a cool makeup look, but I would really like to get it up before. So you guys will know like if it's up in time or not. So I saw one of my friends, Tanya, do a makeup look with a liquid lipstick and I've been meaning to try it. Like regardless, I was going to try this anyway, but because it is a red makeup look, I thought it would be appropriate for like the whole holiday season. So full credit to Tanya today. I'm going to leave her Instagram and YouTube down below if you want to go check her out. I really highly recommend you do. Her work is amazing but she really inspired me to try out this look and see if I can maybe do it. I've never done eye makeup with the liquid lipstick before. It's a little bit daunting to me. So I believe I did see Tanya use designer blood from Jeffree Star. This is the one she used on her lid and she used the Jeffree Star androgyny palette. So I'm going to use that as well today like I'm full going to try this out I also did grab some of my other liquid lipsticks in case I want to use these um, I have checkmate which is definitely more of a brighter maybe orangey red um, and then I've got two green ones this is crocodile tears this is from like last year's holiday collection and then this is from the chrome collection this is Venus flytrap I don't know if I want to keep it like identical to Tanya's today I think I just need to see how I'm feeling when I'm doing this because I kind of thought maybe if I just did red on the top and then did like full on green like on the lower lash line and make it quite like cheesy Christmas you know it's always fun to play around with makeup so today's look probably won't be that wearable but it's going to be really fun to create please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up for me it helps me out so much when you guys do that it only takes a second I always forget to do it myself when I'm watching others videos so it's good to give a reminder at the start and it also does let me know if you guys do enjoy my videos and if you don't like the video feel free free to give it a dislike like it does not bother me at all I like to know what you guys enjoy and don't enjoy you can also subscribe if you're new or hit the bell button that will um, update you every time I upload new videos and yeah that's pretty much it let's just get straight into the makeup I have already done my brows off camera I just used my NYX micro brow pencil in brunette I think and then I also used my benefit browsings in three and then I used my L'Oreal brow plumper in brown so I'm going to leave everything listed down below anyway but I thought I would let you guys know I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids I'm going to use my Maybelline master conceal today um, and this one's in the color 20 light I'm just going to put um, some Frank Body Lip Tint on. This one is in Cherry Bomb. It's just like a lip balm. My lips are always so dry, no matter how many times I put balm on. So as usual, I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte Make Powder just to set that down. And this one's in the color 30 Natural Beige. So now jumping in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette. I'm going to take the Color Charm and I'm using it as a Waver 221 brush. I've just realized I literally haven't been speaking at all. I've been so focused on blending this eyeshadow in my crease. I probably should have told you guys that's what I was doing. Yeah, so I'm just putting this in the crease and I'm like blowing it out quite far until the brow bone. This eye does have a little bit of eczema on it, so it is a little bit patchy around here, but this eye seems to be all right at the moment. I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you're wondering, like or noticed um, that I wasn't blended out as well. Okay, so now taking the color Fetish and a Jessup 13 brush, I'm going to start putting this in the crease area, but I'm going to keep it um, much lower than Charm. Just because Charm is blended up so high, I'm going to keep it lower but have it blend up into that color. So keeping it lower and keeping like my little circle motions um, smaller as well and just going back and forth. And then I'll go back in with that, I think it was a 221 brush by Zoeva and I'll just blend out the edges. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Just ignore how far down my eyeshadow is going. I will like clean that up later. I just want to kind of finish everything I'm doing before I kind of clean it up. I'm going to take designer blood now and I'm going to put this on the lid and try to blend it out. I've got a beauty glamour box brush. This is a W23 flat shader brush and it's synthetic. So I'm going to start out with that and then I'll go back to my Jessup brush and see how that blends out. I've never worked with a liquid lipstick on my eyes before so I'm really curious. Okay, so I'm back. Um, <laughs> I took this eye off. Um, it started to look like shit. Like, it just wasn't working out for me. I feel like this eye has actually turned out alright. I just realised I've got like red all over my hand. The liquid lipstick is a bit hard to work with. I've never done this before, so I guess, you know, I'm trying it out. When I blended it up into the crease, like, you have to be careful not to bring it too far up because when you start bringing it too far up, it just doesn't start blending. So, um, I kept it quite close just in the crease and then I went back in with fetish and just kind of blended it out but I'm going to try it out again I'm going to do this whole eye off camera you guys have seen me do the steps anyway the only thing I kind of didn't show you was when I was trying to blend out the crease because it just took so damn long it's a liquid lipstick they dry super quick it's not made to use as eyeshadow these liquid lipsticks are eye safe though so just keep that in mind I'm surprised my eyelid isn't more stained because it's like a red still looks a little pink though but anyway I'm going to go try and do this eye and then I'll come back and we'll move on with the makeup tutorial okay so I'm back I'm quite happy with how it's looking I made it work I'm I'm really happy so I just didn't bring the liquid lipstick up as high like I said before I just brought it like right into the crease and then just did a bit of blending and also I used the shadow to kind of like make the line disappear so that's what it looks like the only kind of patchiness I've got is just up here which I can't really fix but anyway I'm going to go in with liquid liner I'm going to use my Maybelline I think it is it is um, Curvitude Liquid Liner. So I'm going to do a wing, put some lashes on, mascara, and then we'll move on to the face makeup. I'm now going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use my Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to use my Nakia Joy Cosmetic Lashes, and these are in the style Gemma. Okay, so now we're going to start the face makeup. As usual, I'm going to use my Benefit Professional Primer. I use this every single time I do my makeup because I do have quite large pores on my nose and also just around here. So I like to use it on those areas just so my foundation looks a little bit smoother and it doesn't look like it's kind of like falling into my pores. Okay, so I've got a new product here I've never used before, but I want to try it out. This is the Models Prefer Holo Drops Face and Body Highlighter. I just want to put it underneath my foundation, maybe to give my face a bit of a glow. Okay, so it feels um, a bit thicker than what I thought it would feel. I thought it was going to be a little bit more watery. It does feel quite oily though, like greasy. I think it's giving like a nice glow to the skin, but it feels very greasy. I don't know if you've got like oily skin, if this is going to be good. For foundation, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And this one is in the color Medium Sand. And I'm going to apply that with my usual Morphe E7 brush. Okay, so foundation is on. I usually don't mind how this foundation feels on my skin. Um, I honestly really do think it's these like holo drops or whatever. They just, oh, it was like really greasy, heavy. Like I've got other illuminating drops, but nothing that feels like this. Like this feels different. And I feel like now that I've put the foundation on, it still feels 
not that great on my skin. I keep doing this with my hand, I don't know why. Just keep that in mind. If you've got like dry skin, you might enjoy it. But for me, I've got combo skin, so I don't know how this is going to make my foundation wear. The foundation I did use today is quite mattifying anyway, so if it makes it go oily, I will be like... Probably, yeah, I just won't use it again. <laughs> because the Amazonian Clay Foundation, if you guys have used it, it's made for oily skin. It's just so thick and matte. I'm going to use a different concealer today. I'm not going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal. This one's in 20 Light. I use this to prime my eyes. I actually really love this concealer. It's such a good drugstore concealer. I think Maybelline make good concealers in general. I'm just going to pop this straight on. I usually use a corrector, so let's see how this goes. The only concealer I don't usually use with a corrector is my um, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm also going to put a little bit of that concealer um, on the center of my face just to highlight those areas, so like forehead, nose, and chin area. And taking my nude sticks, I believe this one's in light, and I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. And now taking my favorite banana powder, which is the Australis banana powder, I'm just going to set down all those highlighted areas. I'm going to do a little bit of baking. Like I said in one of my other videos, I don't really bake under my eyes anymore. Um, I feel like just setting them does the job for me, but I do like to bake just around here to prevent um, smile lines just, you know, creasing throughout the day. And then after I contour and bronze and whatnot, I like to clean it up with some powder. But that's pretty much the only baking I do. I don't do it under my eyes like anymore. I just felt like it was like so heavy underneath my eyes and making them crease kind of more. I think baking is definitely good when you just don't want your makeup to go anywhere at all. And my usual pressed powder um, is my Savvy Natural Finish Pressed Powder. These things just don't change because I love them so much and I know they work um, unless I'm doing a first impression video and I've got new products. Then I'm pretty much just going to stick with the things I know. And this one's in the colour Sam Beige. To bronze up my face, I'm going to use my Mecca Max Sunlit Skin Bronzer. And I've got this like old Jessup brush. It's like a contour brush. It feels like it's kind of falling apart, but I'm going to use it today because it is quite soft. And I feel like it can really get in there. I'm now going to contour my face. I'm going to take the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. And I'll probably mix both of these shades here. And I'm using a Morphe M530 brush. For blush, I'm going to use my Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. I'm just doing my cleanup of my contour. So I do have this highlighting palette from Gerard Cosmetics. It came in the mail the other day, so I thought I'd try it out. Um, the highlighters in here are Lucy, Marilyn and Grace. I'm going to assume that the sticker is stuck under exactly which, you know, where which pan is. That made no sense. I'm actually just going to use probably these two colors today. That one is definitely too dark for me, but could be used as an eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with this one, and then I might just pop a little bit of that one on top. So 
So, so far I've only taken that middle highlight and it's really beautiful on its own. I didn't even wet the brush. Um, by the way, I was using a Morphe M501 brush if I didn't say that before. I'm going to take a pinch of that one as well. Wow, that's something else. So finishing off the eyes, I think I'm just going to keep this all red. I don't know, I think it will look nicer red. If you feel like you want to be a little bit more festive, definitely go green on the lower lash line. Um, I'm going to take my Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm going to go in with Fetish again. And pretty much, I think this is the only one I'm going to use. I might go in with a little bit of Charm to blend it out. I'm a little bit too scared to go back in with that liquid lip in case it stuffs up all the work I've done. Okay, so now I'm going to take Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Crocodile Tears and I'm going to put this in my waterline. I'm just going to take, I think it's like a little e.l.f. concealer brush. Very, very small. Okay, so I've got it in my waterline. It's actually pretty subtle. Like, you can't really tell unless, like, maybe I took a photo of it or you were looking at me, like, quite closely. Just going to put mascara on my lower lash line and then we'll pick a lip colour. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner. This one's in the colour Lost in Love. I'm just going to start off with this just to kind of like line my lips. And then I've got some NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams here. I just want to see what colour might go with it more because the eyes are so, so dramatic. I'm going to go in with London first. I don't think I've worn this one before. Because it's kind of got that warm undertone to it, I feel like it definitely goes with the eyes. It's really, really nice. And finishing off with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. This one is in Rose. It is the Nakia Joy collaboration. It's just one of my favourites. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. It's very red and smoky. I'm so happy I did give this technique a go because honestly, after I wiped off one of my eyes, I was like, do I really want to continue with this makeup tutorial? Like I was really close to just stopping and throwing in the towel and giving up. Um, I'm really happy I did push through because I'm so happy with how it's turned out. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I know it's so, so dramatic, but if you love dramatic makeup and you just love makeup in general, you're gonna have fun doing this look. You guys know I just love doing makeup just because I'm doing makeup. Like it has nothing to do with covering my face. I find it so creative and relaxing and that's why I do it and that's why I make videos because I have so much fun um, trying out different colors and trying out weird stuff. Something I just love, love, love doing. Pretty sure this is going to be the last Christmas holiday makeup tutorial if it is up on time. I'm hoping I can just smash out editing this video and then I'm going to start filming some New Year's Eve makeup looks. I'm hoping to smash some of those out as well. So I'm going to be working very hard over the next few days to get those out for you guys. I will of course do a drugstore option for the New Year's Eve look and then I'll do like just, you know, mix match makeup because I never just use all high end because I don't have that kind of money. But you know, I've got some nice um, products to mix in with drugstore. If you do have any ideas for the New Year's Eve makeup looks, let me know down below. But anyway, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, all my social networks linked down below, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, book and snapchat is down below and i'm going to see you guys really soon in my next video because i'm going to try and just keep editing at the moment and i'll see you guys really soon in my next video bye